right stability so i have a transfer function i have a transfer function say s cube plus 3s square plus 4s plus 5 by uh uh 13s square plus 2s plus 3 i'm just throwing numbers in there the roots of the numerator they are called zeros and the roots of the denominator are called poles okay so zeros and poles zeros and poles of a transfer function this is a very basic thing so for stability for stability you are not really worried about the zeros but you want to know about the poles of the transfer function so depending on these poles depending on where these poles lie in an s plane you can actually decide you can actually decide if the system is stable or unstable or if it is marginally stable any system can be three things right it can be stable it can be unstable or it can be marginally stable so if the poles if the poles of a transfer function where can where can anything lie right any pole or any say the roots of this transfer function they can lie on the left half of the plane or the right half of the plane or on the imaginary axis okay so the concept is very very simple okay depending upon where the poles lie poles on negative s plane all the poles on negative s plane or poles on imaginary axis which is your y axis right and poles on positive s plane so if if the if the poles if all the poles if all the poles lie on the negative half of the s plane all the poles then the system is said to be stable okay however however if all the poles are actually on the left plane but there are say uh, some two repetitive poles on the imaginary axis then the system is said to be marginally stable okay or limited stability the system is also said to have limited stability if you have um, mcqs in your mids you might look for it okay and if there is any pole even if there is one pole on the positive half of the s plane even if there is one pole on the positive half of the s plane the system is unstable okay so this is the basic concept of stability if you understand this you will easily solve any problem that comes out of roots of its criterion which at least one question you can expect you have a transfer function there is a denominator the roots of the denominator are called poles right if the poles all the poles lie on the negative stable if there are some if everything else is on the negative there are say there are two roots uh, say minus 1 plus or minus two root uh, two root something 2y let's let's just say 2y okay then there is minus 1 plus 2y minus 1 minus 2y so there is a pair of roots on the imaginary axis then the system is supposed to be marginally stable okay however if there are poles for a transfer function on the positive half of the s plane then the system is unstable as simple as this